We are interested in uh, teaching computers how to see. For human, this is a relatively simple and effortless process, it seems, but for machines it's really hard. Our group is called the Autonomous Vision Group and we are doing research at the intersection of robotics and computer vision. So computer vision is a special field of artificial intelligence that seeks to endow machines with similar visual capabilities as humans. So the way to achieve this is to be inspired by how the human brain works and how the human uh, brain perceives the world around us. And uh, the way we do it is we understand the world as a set of distinct parts, as a set of atomic elements that interact with each other and have some properties. Even though you might think that this is a trivial task, actually it, um, it, pro it proves to be very difficult for computers. So for example, uh, self-driving cars uh, need to perceive the environment in order to act. And the difficulty comes from the fact that the machine only observes 2D images of the 3D environment and needs to fill in this missing information. There's basically two ways to do this, either injecting expert knowledge into the algorithm, for instance, about how the image formation process works or how uh, ob objects interact in the physical world, the other way to do that is to learn um, the parameters of the model from large amounts of training data that is called machine learning. And in particular, this second paradigm is something that has uh, shown more and more success over the last years. And so we are working on both aspects in our group. So what I've been working on is the development of a method that is able to represent a 3D object or a 3D scene as a set of distinct parts that have some properties and uh, how they interact with each other, which is the dynamics. So we are focusing a lot on uh, reconstruction problems. Uh, reconstruction of the geometry of objects, of the motion, in particular 3D motion of objects, and also of the material properties. I'm working on photorealistic scene reconstruction. So we build a sensor. So we want to use that sensor to scan a lot of rooms and with that create a data set which contains not only really accurate 3D geometry of the scene scanned, but also information about the materials present in the scene. With that data set, then we can develop and train new algorithms. And the cool thing is that once you have not only the geometry present in the scene, but also the materials, you can relight the room. That means you can set light sources wherever you want in your virtual reconstructed room and take an arbitrary viewpoint in that room and basically render an image. And that image should look in the end as if you just stood there and took a picture. Deep learning is one of the uh, machine learning techniques that is used and one of the most successful ones. Um, deep learning is a special type of uh, machine learning techniques that uh, parameterizes models in very flexible ways. The problem uh, that people often have when training a machine learning algorithm is that um, the output, uh, what, it's not really clear what you want to have in the end. So similarly uh, to humans, uh, I try to make algorithms more creative. So we train neural networks um, that try to imagine uh, new things. So for instance, uh, we show our algorithm a lot of different chairs and then our algorithm can imagine new chairs that it has never seen before. It's difficult to predict how far away we are from self-driving cars and uh, intelligent, autonomously maneuvering household robots. In, in, some, in some domains, uh, computers are already on par or, are, or have already um, superseded uh, human-level performance, for instance, at the task of face recognition. If you look at very restricted domains, for instance, in the case of self-driving into a restricted area where you have perfectly uh, aligned maps, then it's imaginable that we can solve these problems in the next five to ten years. But the uh, problem of reasoning uh, and of high level understanding, getting the big picture and having a holistic understanding of the environment, that's um, far beyond the current capabilities of uh, seeing machines.